Hi there, it's Jennifer Trask, Mindset Coach for Driven Entrepreneurs. And welcome to this video on how to turn your stories of sabotage around in four steps. Yes, I am very excited about this. Now in order to understand what this is all about, in case you have missed it, this is a part of a bigger series called Change Your Story, Change Your Results. We went through the sabotage loop, the number one goal you need to feel. We went through the top seven stories that sabotage. So much goodness. Just use hashtag CYF, CYR to find these videos if you have not yet watched them. And today, we're gonna talk about getting out of the sabotage loop. So if you didn't, I have my handy handy <laughs> diagram that I drew for you. Um, if you're not familiar with the sabotage loop, this is a very quick reminder and then we're going to get into the four steps. So it begins with a belief. We all have beliefs. We can all agree on this. Yes. Then there's a trigger or an event which creates a story which we then give a meaning to. This meaning either makes us feel good or makes us feel bad. Now it's the sabotage loop, so it's a meaning that makes us feel bad about the situation going on. So then the energy that we put out into the world is not good energy, it's not high vibe, it's, it's not attracting what we really want. So um, we end up attracting things we don't want that match the vibration we're putting out, which reinforces the belief that um, we had started with in the first place. So a very simple example, I gave was when you really believe you have to work really hard to get something and hustle, hustle, hustle. Um, then what happens is if that's your belief system, you, there's a trigger an event, which could be, you know, you didn't get a client you thought you would get. And then that perpetuates this story around, see, it is hard to get business and we were so close and it didn't work. And like, oh, what are we doing this for anyways? And the story continues, continues, and then of course that doesn't make you feel good, but then because you're in that energy, you keep attracting more people who give you, who don't sign up or who can't afford you or whatever, and it perpetuates your story that, yeah, it's really, really hard to build business. We don't want that for you. So, what are the four steps to stop these type of sabotage loops? Well. The first step is that you must be aware of your sabotage loop and or your values conflicts. We talked about values conflict in the previous video. Again, use the hashtag or you can comment and I'll just link you to it. Hashtag CYSCYR, you'll find them. Once you have identified all the stories and the values conflicts, you then have to make peace with them. You have to find a way to allow them to be in your experience and find gratitude for them. This is a really important step because if you have resistance against something, then it's still in your vibration, so you're attracting more of it to you. Even though you don't want it, because you don't get what you want in life, you get what you are. What goes out is what comes back. And so if you are against something, you will get more of it back to you. And you're against something when you are in resistance to it. Therefore, the second step of any conflict is values conflict or belief system that doesn't support you is you've got to find a way to make peace with it and find out how it's brought you value. The third step to turning it around is to ask yourself, well, what do I need to believe in order to get to where I want to go? Basically, usually what is the opposite of this belief or this values conflict? And when you can turn that around in a way that you can believe, because it's, it's, not, it's not always as simple in terms of like, if you've been thinking one thing for a very long time, turning that thought around doesn't always happen overnight, right? Especially if you've been thinking that for like 20, 30, 40, 50 years. But you do need to get on board with something new that you can begin to believe, even if it is, even if it's a thought that's 
moving in the direction of where you want to go. And then the fourth step is reinforcing that and really doing the work, doing the inner work to make sure that you are consistently, consciously reprogramming yourself and re-seeing things differently. And that means catching yourself when you're in old patterns and a whole bunch of things beyond the scope of this video, but that's what it is. So you first need to become aware. You then need to make peace with it so you can let it go. You then need to come up with the new belief or story that, that you need to have in order to get to where you want to go. And then fourth, you need to integrate it and really allow it to become the new story for you and the new values for you and so on. Now, for those of you who want help doing this, that's what I'm here for. Uh, I'm really actually excited about this new program that I have. It's called Change Your Story, Change Your Results. And I have just a limited number of spots. So if you want in, if you want help turning these stories around, turning these conflicts around, make sure you message me because I'm gonna give you all the details. We're starting very soon towards the end of May. So um, it's gonna be a really unique experience to really help you open your eyes to what you have been telling yourself and really to help you stop it in its tracks and move forward because oftentimes the things that are stopping us are right in front of us, but we are blind to them until we can see something from a new perspective. And that's what this is really about, really helping you see what's already there so that we can get rid of whatever doesn't support you anymore and we can consciously choose to bring in what does. And don't forget, if you would like help on this journey to really creating a strong mindset, getting rid of the stuff that doesn't serve you, bringing in the things that do so you can propel your success forward, be sure to message me. I can't wait to hear from you.